Hey, grab that right there. <laughs> Are you ready? Hey. Is you ready? Ready? You say you ready? Oh. Whole squad ready? Ready? Is you ready? Huh? Are you ready? Ready? Is you ready? Whole squad hey. ready? We came here to see Jet. What you got? Oh. No, no, no. Not on my watch. No way. The Packers will be fielding a younger offense this season. While there is plenty of potential across the board, success in this league comes down to one thing. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just that consistency. It just comes down to us being on the same page. You know, I think there's definitely spurts of it, and uh, it's awesome to see. And then, you know, it sucks when we have days where we're just not putting it together. We just got to find a way as a whole to, you know, come together um, and be able to turn that around right there. I'm not so caught up in the end result right now. Obviously, we are in a results-oriented business, but just a firm believer philosophically that if these guys have the right process, I think that it's going to lead to a better result. No one's going to be perfect. He's going up against a good defense and a really good secondary at that. You know, Let's also take that into play. So, I mean, we're just getting him better, and at the same time, he's getting us better. I mean, I think we've got some really good DBs that know what they're doing out there. They're really smart, really savvy. And they're playing really well right now, and it's, it's helping the receivers out too, just trying to get off press, get off jam, be physical with the routes. When we do go play those teams, it, that's all they do is press man. Um, you know, our receivers have seen that. We've been able to see these looks, see how the timing plays out um, and everything. Fans will get inside Lambeau Field for the first time this year at Family Night this Saturday. Events will be taking place starting around 3.30 p.m. And remember, this year will be a Lambo whiteout. You know, it gets their adrenaline going. It feels more game-like. It's a great opportunity for them to experience that before they go into a preseason game. The biggest thing I've heard is it's like a packed stadium. So it'll be really cool to go out there in Lambo and, and have it be packed. Um, I think it'll be a really fun experience. Um, but other than that, I'm just, I'm just gonna kinda soak it in and, and take in the moment. My favorite emoji. I don't know if I'm well versed enough in emojis to know that. Can I look at my phone real quick? Yep. Let me see. I'm really trying to think which one do I use the most. The, definitely the laughing, crying face. The laughing with crying emoji. Probably just the laughing emoji. <laughs> the laughing emoji. Definitely the laughing face. I love comedy. Cries and he laughs when I don't really want to respond to somebody. Just hit that one a few times and send it on. And then I use the Z emoji a lot. Like when I'm telling my family like I'm going to sleep, I just put the little three Zs so they know what that means. I don't use a lot of emojis. I'm old fashioned. I like to call. It's probably the 100 emoji, just the red 100 emoji. I would say 100. You know, you can use that with everything. You just gotta keep everything 100. That's, it. That's all that is. Probably just a good old smile. Everybody loves a good smile, you know? <laughs> Favorite emoji? Obviously, it's got to be the cheese emoji. That's a good one right there. Like the, the F ones? Yeah. Oh, that's easy. The lock is strapped over here, so definitely lock. Purple emoji with the smiling, with the, the demon one, with the, the eyes kind of narrowed down. Just an aggressive ball player. Like I said, I'm not proud of it, but that describes me on the field. The angry face. I'm gonna do this one, that emoji, because like every time like I get a little celebration or something, I do something like that to the crowd. Be like, yep, that happened again type of deal where, yeah, that'd be my favorite emoji. So, you might want to answer this, bro. Okay, hold on, hold on. All right. Uh, go crazy. Four by one. Uh, and you gotta go, you gotta tell them who leading off, right, who's right, passing right, for the right, onto, all, all right. that. I'm gonna put Sav at the one. Hey, he trying to say you slow. No. Stokes at the two. I'm gonna put Jive at the three. Oh, no, no, you gonna put Jive at the three? 
and K9 for the anchor to win, man. I'm the anchor for sure. Bo's at the one spot. Bo's leading us off. At the two spot, I'm gonna put Stokes. Stokes at the two spot. He's going to the three spot. Oh right, yeah, we put John Money at the three spot. I'll finish it off. Easy dub. Uh, you know me. I'm going with me being last leg. I got Chris, you know, I, I got C Wine in there. I got Key in there. Ooh, who could be? Rudy. Ooh, Rudy. Or Jai. I like Rudy. I like Rudy. I like Rudy. I'm gonna have Keyshawn on the first leg, uh, second leg, Rasul Douglas, third leg, gonna be Jair. And I'm bringing it home, baby. It's on us. That's something you don't hear in the locker room very often, but we heard it from Ja Alexander. I mean, I think last year we was making a bunch of excuses for ourselves. And, you know, I mean, you know, Joe Barry can go out and, and, you know, call whatever call he wants to. But at the end of the day, we got to execute that call. And I think we were making a lot of excuses for why we wasn't, you know, especially early on in the year. At this point, like, we all good enough on the, in the defense to, like, execute the call, you know? So it's not, I don't think at this point it's about the call, it's about how we execute, you know? So I think that's the biggest thing that, that we've come together as a defense. People talk about the second year jump. Jaden Reed may have taken it a year early. I'm definitely more confident. I, I think confident is the word. I never want to get too comfortable, but uh, I'm definitely more confident out there playing faster, playing with more speed, as you guys can see, uh, OTAs. I feel like I was kind of, you know, timid a little bit and, you know, um, playing with hesitance, but now I'm, I'm getting the playbook down, so I'm ready to play confident, play fast, and, you know, um, I'm excited. When the Packers put on pads, they not only go one-on-one, -on -one, they have featured one-on-ones that are highlighted on the practice schedule and watched by the entire team. On Thursday, Rashid Walker, and Kingsley Enigbari were a featured one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I got the upper hand. People like it was one questionable, but I feel like, to me, it was definitely 3-0, but I'll give him 2-1 on the generous day. Rasheed? I mean, you know, JJ, anything to help his confidence. I mean, I and this guy don't lie. Camera right there, like, you know, we gonna watch it in film. I know, I know for a fact that I, I wouldn't drill two to one. He had, he had a good, he had a very good rush. The last rep he had was one of his better, better rushes. I will give him that, but what? Two one. You know what I'm saying? JJ getting better every single day. Love competing. He loves to compete. Great player, great person. Bring what you got. I'm going to the top. I'm going to the top.